The IS-7 is a true legend in World of Tanks. One of the first Tier 10 heavy tanks, it remains a living classic to this day. In the 9.20 update, all fans of the mighty IS-7 got a pleasant surprise. Characteristics of the vehicle were improved. What changed, and how should the IS-7 be played now? Let's find out. The IS-7 has always been a fast, heavy tank. Now, with the engine power increased to 1,200 horsepower, it has become even better. This tank can now travel at 50 kilometers per hour on solid terrain, and climbing up a hill isn't a pain anymore. You can even buy with a T110E5. However, you should always keep in mind that the IS-7 quickly loses its speed should you rotate the hull even slightly. Thus, it's best not to adjust your route unless you absolutely need to. Drive straight into a town or to some rock formation and see how the battle flows. Increased engine power will enable you to reach a favored position and engage the enemy at medium or short range. And this is where the gun of the IS-7 excels. Yes, it's had its aiming time improved and the dispersion from movement and traverse, but we all know that the accuracy of the IS-7 is still very dependent on random luck. The IS-7 did not become a sniper, but it now deals its 490 damage far more reliably. The aim is to deal this damage in the right place and at the right time. To understand where and when, you need to keep in mind where the armor of your tank is strong and what's going on around you. The IS-7 is a robust vehicle. Position your pike nose correctly, and even Tier 10 heavy and medium tanks won't shoot through it, while your turret is nigh impenetrable even for tank destroyers. The main vulnerability in the vehicle's front is the lower glacis plate, as always. It's easily penetrated by most enemies. That's why you should cover the lower glacis plate behind obstacles or in minor terrain irregularities. But don't get carried away when choosing a position in rugged terrain. The gun of the IS-7 only depresses by negative 6 degrees. Not every hill and lowland enables you to fire it. So, you found the right place? Now you need to position your vehicle. In most cases, your best set when facing the enemy directly. This way, your pike nose can work most effectively. Be very careful when backing away to reload. One hasty turn of the hull, and your nose will lose all its shell-bouncing magic. At close range, you should be twice as cautious. Many tanks with elevated gun positions will shoot down on you, reducing the effective thickness of your sloped armor. If you can, you should facehug such enemies. The IS-7 is a great brawler. Good single-shot damage and hit points increased to 2400 will help you win in shot exchanges. <laughs> How many times could these extra 250 hit points have decided the outcome of battle? When facing Tier 10 tank destroyers, it's best to hide your hull completely. Only your turret can withstand their fire. If there is no cover in proximity, it's best to reposition and not take your chances. No way of backing out? Try reverse side scraping or tricking your opponent into making a shot. The sides of your tank can't be called impenetrable, but if you position the vehicle right, any Tier 10 will have a very hard time trying to damage you. Artillery is rather unpleasant. No, it will hardly deal you any significant damage with a single shot. But stun crew can cost you a lot. Thus, all other things equal, choose positions where SPGs won't get you, or don't get spotted where you can avoid it. In the end, an ideal fight for the IS-7 should look as follows. You choose a direction for attack and spearhead the advance. You reach a good position quickly and prepare to meet the enemy with your lower glacis plate in cover and allies approaching. You make devastating shots at medium and close ranges, then lead the assault onto enemy positions, never giving the opponent the chance to regroup. The IS-7 is an assault tank. Your tank is designed for sweeping assaults and leading support vehicles. The IS-7 is the all-purpose core of any team that creates opportunities for its allies to play to their strengths. 
you're the one to take the heat and fight back. It's your armor that serves as cover for more fragile vehicles. It's your momentum that can break the flow of a fight. Don't lose your head in battle. Attention and calm make all the difference between a regular player and a true master.